Hello. You've probably heard a lot of fuss in recent times about this imminent nuclear war business. Well, let me tell you, there is nothing imminent about it. Our Great Britain is made of people like this. The Smiths. Hello, Smiths. And the Joneses. Hello, Joneses. People like you. People who have grown accustomed to their safety, their routine, to plugging in their appliances and fueling their cars. Most of us now have indoor lavatories and cook food with ingredients from all over the globe. This is modern Britain. This is progress. Although it is unlikely that these things could be under threat, we must be prepared for any fate that may befall our beloved nation. Britain can live on if we stand together. Trust in order, good planning, and do as you are told. Mr. Smith is building a fallout shelter. He makes sure to place identification documents or bank cards on the door to his great shelter so that the authorities know exactly who is inside. Would you like to build a fallout shelter, Mr. Jones? No. But what will happen if the bomb drops? You'll do it later. Well, Mr. Jones, if you leave it till later, Jane and Michael will be burnt alive and Mrs. Jones will be reduced to a choking, irradiated wreck. Is that what you want? Well, do as you are told. Do as you're told. Ration your food. You may be without food for a considerable amount of time. If you don't start to ration food early, you may run out and starve to death. Michael, how many packets of crisps have you eaten today? Five. While well, Billy hasn't eaten any today, he is saving his crisps in case of nuclear war. Do you want to starve to death? No? Well, stop being a gluttonous little tyke and do as you are told. Television broadcasts will cease in the event of nuclear attack. Radio will be the main form of communication. It will update you on what is happening outside and tell you when it is safe to leave your shelter. Mrs. Smith is checking for recent radio updates. Mrs. Jones is watching the Jeremy Kyle show. Jeremy Kyle won't save you in a nuclear disaster, Mrs. Jones, will he? No. Why don't you listen to the radio so that you can warn your husband if a nuclear attack is imminent? Do as you're told. So, what if the unlikely event were to occur? Firstly, do not worry about radiation from the blast. If you are close enough to be irradiated, you will have already been vaporized. Breathe easy. So what has become of our friends, the Smiths and the Joneses? Mr. Smith and his family are happily awaiting rescue from the local authorities. They are tucked up nice and cosy in their nuclear shelter. Good night, Smith family. But where are Mr. Jones and his family? They didn't make their shelter in time. They didn't do as they were told. Mrs. Jones, where is your left leg? Torn off by the blast? Oh dear, Mrs. Jones, you will not live long now, will you? Fallout dust has already embedded itself within your open wound, and if you don't die from blood loss and agony, radiation poisoning will surely get you. Why didn't you do as you were told? Michael? Hello, Michael? Michael? Oh no. Mr. Jones, what are you eating? Jane? But Jane is your daughter. You didn't save enough food for when the bomb dropped, did you? Now you have to eat your own daughter to stay alive. Why didn't you do as you were told? You are a lazy bones, Jones.